The center of complex quantum systems here at Aarhus University is a combination of theorists and experimentalists developing complex new quantum systems that explain nature in new and deeper ways. We have these direct interactions, right? And there's a feedback from the theory into the experiment, but also back from the experiment to the theory. And that's really exciting and what drives actually our, our daily work and our, our progress forward. So we develop ideas like here on, on the blackboard and we can directly talk to the experimentalists and then we can actually try these things um, after a while in the experiment. And, and from there we develop new ideas. And the nice thing is really that the interaction is is between our also our young scientists. So, so there we have basically a really great dynamics and great enthusiasm of the, of the young people. It was always a dream of mine to be part of Aarhus Quantum Group. And uh, what is interesting to me about the CCQ group is its scientific environment. You can tell that this place is uh, really alive. You can see all over that people are talking about science here. The major strength of CCQ is actually the close collaboration between theorists and experimentalists because this is a very like, stimulating environment for us and it's very vibrant and we get a lot of ideas from experimentalists. What can we do? What is most important problems to tackle? The first quantum revolution really told us about quantum mechanics and in the years after we learned to control larger groups of atoms. That enabled, for example, the laser or the atomic clock. However, in the last 25 years, we were able to control individual atoms. And that new ability really enables the second quantum revolution. At the moment, we are living in, at some really exciting times. So the major goal of our center is now to combine these capabilities and, and create new quantum systems that are where you merge matter atoms, even single atoms on the one hand and photons on the other and create new single quantum systems that we can use um, for applications such as precise clocks and perhaps quantum computing with light.